what if your parents never heard you this is a very common question that internationalists get asked i can't even begin to explain the degrees of consciousness required to understand how wronged you were to have been brought into a world like this you have to compete for love you have to compete for resources you have to compete for power and that's what you've been brought here for to compete with other people you might not see life that way because you've been brainwashed but every time when you wake up and you go to school you are competing with other people every time when you wake up and go to work you're competing with other people there's a reason why you want to score higher than other people there's a reason why you want to make more money than other people 6 97 98 99 we are in a red race man and it's not like we are in this race for a meaningful price now nah, we're just competing because that's how things have been set up but why are things set up this way why are things not set up differently why are things not set up in such a way that it will make it easy for people to be happy in such a way that it will make it easy for people to help one another why is reality set up this way i believe that reality has been set up this way because we are in some kind of prison reality has been set up this way because we are not meant to be okay to be at peace to not be fighting you know we are meant to always be fighting to always be competing to always have problems this is how things have been set up that is why we can never fix the problems that we have no matter what we try to do we will never be able to fix the problems that we have i remember george carlin said something very interesting in one of his interviews he said the people that think that we have a solution to the problems that we are having in this world are part of the problem you know the people that think that there is hope you know only if we can try to do this only if we can try to do that we can solve the problems that we have these people are part of the problem there is nothing that we will be able to do to fix the problems that we have because these problems that we have are not bugs these problems that we have are features this is the way that reality has been set up you know there's nothing you can do to change that that is why it's important that you don't bring more people here having children is really the biggest sin in the world because no one chooses to be born that's like if you kidnap the person and put them in a place and then gave them rules to follow you told them that if they don't follow these rules they are going to get punished actually if they break the rules that you told them they should follow they are not really doing anything wrong you are the one that has done something wrong by kidnapping them and putting them in a place where they have to follow the rules that you have created for them you see people are just working with what they have no one even chooses where they are born no one chooses what they get to deal with in life no one chooses their genes no one chooses their parents no one is here by choice we um hostages here but really the question is why are things set up the way that they've been set up i'll tell you why things have been set up the way that they've been set up because we are prisoners here we are hostages here we are not free we are supposed to suffer and that is the truth ask yourself this question why is it that once you start seeing things as they really are you feel more alone you start to feel sad you start to feel depressed you start to feel like you must isolate yourself it's people that don't see things as they are that think that this world is actually good people that are seeing things as they are are the people that are saying that no actually this world is not good now this reality has been presented to us in such a way that it will actually seem good it's only after you start thinking deeply about everything that you are seeing that you actually realize that nah something isn't right there's these pictures that i've seen with hidden messages created by artificial intelligence for an example you'd see a picture of a goat and think oh that's just a goat but when you squint your eyes you actually realize that no there's a hidden message in the picture you see something different when you squint your eyes that's kind of how this reality has been set up you don't really see things as they are nothing is what it seems you know once you start thinking and start analyzing everything you start to see that oh actually things are not what they seem to be for an example 
most parents think that schools are teaching their children valuable lessons but once they start thinking deeply they actually realize that no our children are being brainwashed nothing is what it seems squint your eyes a little bit and you'll see that there's an agenda behind everything and the crazy thing is that everything is upside down nothing is working as it should be working and we all can see that nothing is working as it should be working that is why we're constantly trying to fix this system we feel like there's something that is broken there's something that needs fixing only if we can fix what's broken then things are going to work out we don't understand that that's one of the tricks that are being used to keep us here to keep us reproducing because we believe that we will be able to come up with uh, solutions to the problems that we are having but no we'll never ever come up with solutions to the problems that we are having we all know that there are problems in this world there isn't a person that doesn't know that there are problems in this world even the most religious people know that there are problems in this world that is why christians for an example believe that there's a heaven you know they believe that there's a heaven because they realize that there is a problem in this world even the bible says that this world is not good even the bible says oh this world is not good there's a world that is actually good there's a world that is better than this there's a world where people will be happy you know where there will be no suffering every person knows that this world is not good the problem is that we think we can fix it the people that came before us thought that they can fix this world but no they've never been able to fix this world you know that is why there are still so many people that are suffering and they are not suffering because they are not doing things right they are suffering because this world has been set up in such a way that some people get to suffer you know it's like there are some entities that are benefiting a lot from our suffering you know the only people that are actually benefiting from the system that governing us are the people that are at the top you know the billionaires these are the people that are benefiting the poorer you are the harder your life is going to be the harder it's going to be for you to actually benefit from this system because it wasn't even created for you it wasn't even created by you it was created by people that have power the people that have money the people that are making the decisions in the world they're not making these decisions for your life to be easy they are making these decisions for your life to be hard so that their lives will be easy ask yourself why is it that those that are powerful always take advantage of those that are not powerful it's how things have been set up in this world you cannot change that you can pray all you want you cannot change that you can say that these people are part of the illuminati and they are going to hell and your life will be better in the afterlife but that's not going to change anything the truth is that you are suffering because you are in this world now back to the original question what if your parents never had you the answer is simple you wouldn't be here just like all the people that were never born.